Hey there, would you like to know more about open culture in galleries, libraries, archives, and museums around the world? Join us for the second season of Open Culture Voices, which is in production now and will start to be released very soon. And this season, we're taking another lap around the cultural heritage sector to learn more from experts in the field, not only about the barriers that exist to open up collections and, and data about collections, but also about the many benefits of open culture worldwide. So we're going to hear from people from many different countries that are involved in many different kinds of initiatives. As in the first season, we ask each guest only four questions. What are the main benefits? What are the barriers? What opened up your eyes to open culture? And what would you tell those who are hesitant to opening up collections? Our goal with the Open Culture Voices series is to highlight the variety of open culture initiatives and mostly the individuals that make them happen. They're connected through one general theme, but they bring diverse perspectives that help us explore the many facets of open culture and to gather various understandings of open access and better sharing of cultural heritage. My name is Connor Benedict, the Open Culture Coordinator, and I'm responsible for the production of this season. And I'm Brigitte Vizna, Director of Policy and Open Culture at CC. And together we manage the Open Culture Program and the activities that Creative Commons supports within the cultural sector. Stay tuned for the first episode of season two coming very soon. Um, in the meantime, feel free to check out season one again and share the episodes with your friends and colleagues.